I'm Stephanie Cooley. I'm Sarah Gracidas. Hi, I'm Stephanie Bond. Welcome to another day of Bible Camp. Hi, I am Father Jonathan Kong. I like to let you know Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. We all belong to Him. Little one belong to Him. Young, young sister belong to Him. Young boy belong to Him. We all love Jesus because He first loved us. Amen. Welcome to another day of Bible camp. Hallelujah. I am Joan Kaiser. And I am Brenda Woodmass from the church in Roseville. And I am Gary Kaiser, also from the church in Roseville. And I am Ian Salomonson from New Zealand. We hope that you're having a lot of fun. Today, you will hear a story about Joseph and how he answered God's call by behaving properly in all situations. You also have been called of God and you will learn something more of responding to that call. Before we hear the story, let's sing some songs. So let's all stand up and get ready to sing. Self-confidence to slay, but Jacob's 
Joe was very strong and getting his own way. While heading back to Canaan and fearing for his life, a man who was the Lord came and wrestled him all night. Jacob still had his strength, so he refused to kill. The Lord of the Punches by some people never went. Jacob would not let go till he was blessed by God. His name was changed to this one, a wrestler with God. Boys, in these older years, Jacob would answer God's call. He was not dependent on God to be his all. You dear children must learn to depend on him always. His care and shepherding are with you from the older days. He was soft, hard for him. He went out for his grace. Then one day, just like Jacob, you may meet out face to face. Let's learn a new song. Hi, campers. Today we're gonna to learn the hand motions for the song that goes with lesson eight. And in this song, we're gonna be doing a rhythm sequence. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to kneel down. And for stanza one, you are gonna do 10 leg slaps and three claps, one, two, three, okay? You're gonna repeat that four times. And on the last one, let's say this is the fourth time, we're gonna go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And for the three claps, we're gonna to start to stand up. One, two, three. Now for the chorus, we are gonna do a rhythm sequence with our legs. We're gonna kind of jog to the right. One, two, three. Jog to the left. One, two, three. And then turn around. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're gonna repeat that. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. For stanza two, we're gonna do another rhythm sequence, but this time we're gonna snap 10 times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clap three. One, two, three. Again, you're gonna repeat that four times. Okay, and then on the last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. From here, we go to the chorus, starting with our leg hops three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, for this last stanza, number three, we are gonna do heel taps, and you're only gonna do five heel taps. So you're gonna go right, left, right left right one two three and then you go again you're gonna do that four times right left right left right one two three and let's say we're on the fourth time around we would go one two three four five one two three then we go back to our chorus one two three one two three one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, for the last stanza, you actually go back to stanza number one. And you're going to kind of slowly get down into like a sleeping state. So it's going to say, Joseph believed the dreams. And you're kind of getting down to the ground. And you, for dreams, you just kind of put your head in your hands. He believed the dreams that God gave him, two special dreams. And then now you're gonna to start to get up because it says it's gonna guide him for the rest of his life. So you're gonna take your hands like you're guiding and they would guide him for the rest of his life in behaving. Thumbs up. Due to those dreams, and remember dreams is like this, he knew that he was special, like God's picking him out. He was special but never proud. You kind of put your head up. He answered God's call by being so upright, he would abound. Now, at the very end of the song, it, it kind of speeds up really fast. So you're gonna do this kind of um, like a figure eight pattern. 
and it's it's just a fast sequence you're doing this figure eight figure eight and then the last four counts you're gonna shake it shake it shake it shake it and you do that four times figure eight figure eight okay and then you're gonna shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it and at the very end you're gonna do like um I don't know what you call it like um ta-da ta it's like a ta-da it's at the very end so you however you want to do a ta-da you can do a ta-da or a ta-da that's at the very end of the song okay now let's try to sing it with the words hello everyone let's sing along to the song with lesson eight this next song shows how Joseph, due to the dreams God gave him, would answer God's call by behaving himself properly in all his difficult situations. Joseph believed the dreams that God gave him, two special dreams, and they would guide him for the rest of his life in behaving. Due to those dreams, he knew that he was special, but never proud. He answered God's call by being so upright, he would abound. Love does not behave unbecomingly, and does not seek its own things. It is not provoked, and does not take account of evil. Jacob loved Joseph more than all his children, his favorite son. So he made him a coat of many colors, a special one. He was treated unfairly by his brothers from jealousy. But Joseph never took revenge or harmed them, not hating. Love does not behave unbecomingly and does not seek its own things. It is not provoked and does not take account of evil. He was treated unfairly by his brothers from jealousy. But Joseph never took revenge or harmed them, not hating. His brothers plotted to kill him, but sold him as a slave. Not knowing through him, God would preserve them from famine and save. dreams and they would guide him for the rest of his life in behaving due to those dreams he knew that he was special but never proud he answered god's call by being so upright he would abound Joseph to obey our parents and be honest, hardworking and finish the assignments given us. Let us learn of Joseph to obey our parents and be young ones who would willingly do what they ask us to do. Let us learn also that if we're ever treated unfairly, we should never try to get back or to get even. Let us learn also that if we're ever treated unfairly, we should not be persons who would try and seek revenge. Jacob lived in the land of Canaan, where his father Isaac had dwelt. Jacob had 12 sons. Now Jacob loved his son Joseph more than all his other sons, because he was the son of his old age. Jacob loved Joseph so much that he made him a coat of many colors. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father loved Joseph more than all of them, they hated Joseph and could not speak peaceably to him. Joseph was a young man who obeyed his father and believed in the Lord, even though his brothers treated him unfairly. The Lord gave Joseph two very special dreams in his sleep. Let's see what those dreams were about. In the first dream, 
Joseph and his brothers were binding sheaves in the field, when suddenly Joseph's sheaf rose up and remained standing. All his brother's sheaves gathered around and bowed down to his sheaf. In Joseph's second dream, the sun, the moon, and the eleven stars bowed down to Joseph. In these two special dreams, Joseph realized that his brothers and all God's people were as stalks of wheat, full of life, and as the sun, moon, and stars, full of light. These dreams guided Joseph's conduct and behavior for the rest of his life. He knew that one day he would rule over his brothers. So even when his brothers treated him unfairly, Joseph still behaved properly. As you will see in tomorrow's lesson, Joseph also behaved properly when he reigned as a leader in Egypt. Now let's see what happens when Joseph tells his brothers about his dreams. Listen to the stream that I have had. There we were, biting sheaves in the field, when suddenly my sheave rose up and remained standing, and then your sheaves gathered around and bowed down to my sheaf. Will you indeed rule over us? I had another dream. In this dream, the sun, the moon, and the stars all bow down to me. What is this dream that you have had? Shall I and your mother and your brothers indeed come to bow down to the ground to you? Joseph's brothers were jealous of him and hated him even more because of his dreams. Still, Joseph behaved properly and trusted in the Lord for everything. Now Joseph's brothers were tending their father's sheep in a place called Shechem. One day, Jacob sent Joseph to Shechem to check on the welfare of his brothers and the sheep and to bring back a report. However, when they saw Joseph coming from a distance, they plotted to kill him. Let's see what happened. I see our brother Joseph, the master of dreams, coming. Let's kill him and throw him into a pit and say some wild animal ate him. Then we will see what will become of his dreams. Yeah! 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 No, let's not shed his blood and kill him. Instead, let's throw him into a deep pit. Hello, Father I sent you to see how you are doing. I must go. I will be back later. Joseph, but instead ask the Ishmaelites over there if they want to buy him as a slave. Yeah. 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 What would you give us for the 17 year old boy as your slave? We'll give him 20 silver coins. Deal. How do I make sure it's good? Make sure it's 20. Reuben later returned to the pit and saw that Joseph, his brother, was not there. He discovered that his brothers had sold Joseph as a slave to Ishmaelites who were traveling to Egypt. 
Reuben didn't know what to do. Joseph's brothers decided to kill a goat and dip Joseph's coat of many colors in the goat's blood. After this, they sent the coat to their father. Let's see what happened. Your son sent you this coat to examine it and to see if Joseph's coat, uh, to see if it is Joseph's coat. Uh, uh, it is my son's coat. A wild beast has devoured him. Joseph is without a doubt torn to pieces. I will go to my grave mourning for my son. <sighs> we just saw how Joseph's brothers were angry and conspired to kill him, but instead sold him as a slave for 20 pieces of silver to some traveling Ishmaelites who took him to Egypt. Joseph's brothers fooled their father Jacob into believing that Joseph had been killed. Therefore, Jacob did not try to find him. Joseph's brothers did not know that God was going to preserve their lives through Joseph's being in Egypt. Tomorrow, you will hear the rest of the story about Joseph, especially how he always behaved properly and how he eventually would reign over his brothers to preserve their lives and the lives of many others. So we see that Joseph behaved himself properly because he was chosen by God. Did you know that you also are chosen by God and you too can behave yourselves properly? You can learn from this story about Joseph to obey your parents and be honest, hardworking, and finish what they ask you to do. You can also learn that when you are treated unfairly by others, you should not try to get even, but instead care for them. Now is the time to hear some of your experiences of behaving properly. Hello everyone, and it is great to see you back at Bible Camp. My name is Allie, and since we're talking about Joseph, I wanted to tell you guys a story about whenever I was young and treated a little bit unfairly, but had to be kind to people. So growing up, I had two siblings. I had a younger brother named Paul and an older sister named Victoria. Now, my sister and I would fight constantly and it put me in a little bit of a position because my parents were very big on being respectful so since she was seven years older than me I couldn't give her any attitude whenever I talked back to her and at first it was really difficult I would try to just bite my tongue I would maybe leave the room but eventually I started calling on the name of the Lord at first in my head silently or at times, I would just call on the name of the Lord out loud like this, Oh, Lord Jesus. And eventually, I realized I couldn't even say anything mean back. So what I learned from this was that I got a lot of patience. I got more respectful. And it taught me how to be way more forgiving. So I certainly did not have it as bad as Joseph. But I think that this was a really great experience for me to learn. Hi everyone, my name is Eliana, and I'm here to tell you a story about when I chose to be honest in a difficult situation. So one day I was at the meeting hall with my brother and my dad, and my dad was putting in a fence around the playground. And me and my brother were playing wall ball against the side of a shed with a cracked window. And me and my brother kept playing and playing, and then I spiked the ball straight into the cracked window. And I made a big hole. And I was in a difficult situation. I didn't know what to do. I could just not tell the truth and just say, eh, it was cracked. Nobody needs to know. Or I could tell my dad. And I thought about it for a second, and I talked to my brother, and we were both freaking out a little bit. But then I decided, you know, I'm going to tell my dad. And I told my dad and he told the brothers. And the next week that I came to the meeting hall, the window was fixed. So in that difficult situation where I could have gotten into a lot of trouble if I was dishonest, I chose to tell the truth. Hello, young people. I'm Steve Anderson. I understand that you've been learning about Joseph and how he answered God's call by behaving properly in all situations. 
I'd like to share a verse with you in Romans chapter 8. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. You will now hear a story about a young man who behaved himself properly by being honest in telling the truth. As you will see, God took very good care of this young man in the midst of a difficult situation. Hi everyone! We just learned that Joseph was a man of good character. Even though his brothers treated him so poorly, he still behaved appropriately and always obeyed his father. I want to tell you a story about a young man who was honest when he faced a difficult situation. And this story comes from a book called True Stories of Exceptional Character. Well, the young man's name is Bobby. Bobby's school was having a rope climbing contest. Participants would have three tries to climb up a 15 foot rope and slap the top of the board with their hand and climb back down as fast as they could. The record at Bobby's school was 2.1 seconds. Well, Bobby wanted to beat that record. Well, the day of the contest finally came and it was finally Bobby's turn. His coach stood by Bobby with his stopwatch to record it. So Bobby quickly climbed up the rope as fast as he could, went to the top and slapped it and climbed back down. Oh. He did it in 2.1 seconds. Oh, he had tied the record. In his second attempt, he went up even faster. And the coach announced, two seconds flat. Oh, the crowd went into a frenzy with excitement because it broke the school record. But then the coach had a concern and he pulled Bobby aside. He asked him, did you touch the board at the top? Bobby hesitated and thought for a moment. When he reached the top, he realized that his fingers did not touch the top when he tried to slap it. However, only he knew it, no one else did. What was Bobby gonna do? Would he behave properly by telling the truth that he didn't touch the board at the top? Bobby's parents always taught him to tell the truth. Bobby finally answered the coach. No, I did not touch the board at the top. The coach quieted the crowd to make an announcement. He told the crowd that Bobby did not set a record and the rope climb, but instead he did something even much better. He told the truth. Bobby's coach was so proud of him. He even had tears coming down from his eyes because Bobby was honest. Well, now Bobby had one more try to break the school's rope climbing record. So Bobby jumped up, jumped up on the rope, climbed up as fast as he could, slapped the top, and the crowd waited in anticipation as the coach announced the results. The coach shouted, 1.9 seconds! Oh, the crowd roared with excitement. Bobby broke the school record. This was a wonderful story about honesty. We remember from the lesson that Joseph's brothers deceived their father Jacob by telling him, by not telling him the truth about their brother. They told Jacob that Joseph was killed by a wild animal and not that they had sold him as a slave to some Ishmaelites on their way to Egypt. But here in this story, we see how Bobby behaved properly and told the truth in the middle of a difficult situation. Remember, when you are honest and tell the truth, God will always take care of you and will meet your need. So let's follow Joseph and behave properly. Erica, what time is it? Hmm. It's memory verse time. Our memory verse for this lesson is 1 Corinthians 13, 5. 
It does not behave unbecomingly and does not seek its own things. It is not provoked and does not take account of evil. Love does not behave unbecomingly. And does not seek its own things. It, it, it is not provoked and does not take account of evil. First Corinthians 13.5 Bible camp today. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.